All right, Jolene invests in her savings in two bank accounts, one paying 6% and the other paying 8% interest per year. She puts twice as much in the lower yielding account because it is less risky. Her annual interest is $5,940. How much did she invest at each rate? I'm gonna make a table, four columns, four rows, and interest is, uh, well, rate times time, or principal times rate, I should say. Principal times rate times time is equal to interest, but the time here is just one year, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we have, uh, you know, the first account and the second account. We don't have to be too picky there. So um, we don't know how much she puts in either one of these accounts. Uh, but let's let's write down what we do know. Oops. Um, what have I done here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I need to, uh, it won't let me erase now. Okay. Well, all right. So uh, one pays 6% and the other 8%. So we can put that in. 0.06. And 0 0.08. We're putting those under the, the rate columns and changing them to a decimal. And we know the total interest was $5,940. Um, so we don't know how much she put in one of them, but in the in the lower one, she put twice as much. So it, let's uh, so, you know, the higher interest one was X, so then the, the lower interest one would be 2X. So multiplying those, I would get uh, 0.12x, because 2x times 0.06 is 0.12x. That would be the interest. And the interest for the other one would be 0.08x. And I can use that last column, the interest column, to make my equation. So the equation would be 0.12x plus 0.08x equals $5,940. Combining those, it's 0.20x equals 5,940. And let's see if I can make myself a little bit more room to finish this. Dividing both sides by 0 0.20, we get uh, 5,940 divided by 0.2 is equal to 29,700. So in the higher interest account, the 8% one, let's see if I can squeeze it in there, she is putting $29,700. In the other one, um, she's putting twice as much as that. So it's 20, we just multiply that by two. 59,400. And there you have it.